this little glandulomatous lump down there at the bottom of his throat. So let's see what we can do for him. So we got the, the beautiful halter of doom. Some really, really good tools, but man, if you can clean it up between animals, and it'll work on big guys like him. You can also take your teeth out if you're not careful. Okie dokie. Pull his head around. See if I can get it right around that neck extended, and I'm going to try to put a calcrate bander on that lump. No, just a steam it across the central wall. Leave him back. But I'm certainly not keen to go cutting around in there. That's what we call granulomatous. So the it's granuloma tissue. So it's just trying to the wound is trying to heal itself. Lots and lots of proliferative nastiness. Um, right here is what you call a jugular. <laughs> kind of things with names, as we say in veterinary medicine. So there's a jugular there. There's a jugular on the other side. That's kind of really in close proximity to it. We could stick a scalpel in there, but all it'd be just like putting your knife through gritty sandpaper. Just, have you lanced it already or tried to? Yeah, it's not, it's not an abscess per se, it's a granuloma, so it's all this hard nastiness and it can't heal. So, what I was thinking of doing is, if I can get a calcrate bander on there, what it should do is just tighten down as it goes and just kind of ischemic necrosis knock that off. And the video is because it's tight, it kind of numbs everything behind. It's, it's a bit of a long shot, but potentially give it a crack. That's cray cray. Could have started as a foreign body and it's tried to heal itself, but yes. It's not gonna heal on its own. Sorry, buddy. Stay there. It's got a seam on the top. Laces up. For the Ace Ventura fans in the room. <laughs> See how we go with this. So we're just experimenting here. We don't have a whole lot of other options for old Cletus here. Experimentation may have been failure, but I'm gonna try. See if they won't find out. Right. Smells good at least. Hold on up, pull. You're open. Sit up. 
above this man.
comes out. It's a little tension measure. What John, John Calicrate being the guy that designed this, called the brains of the outfit. This is designed for castrating uh, mature bulls. This was a present when I graduated from vet school back in the dark ages, back in 2001. And um, I used to use it to castrate bulls until I got, started using the hangers. should pull the skin together and then it drops off this being the paddock and <coughs> then we're on a winner because he's a little bit self-conscious you know he goes up to cows and they're like bugger off night you're not going to chin rest with that on you These are awesome for cutting out ear tags as well. Alrighty. All right, we'll give them some antibiotics and some anti-inflammatories, and that hopefully what that's going to do is just necrose down, and drop off. That's sick. Hey, that's cool. Can I have high fives? High fives all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys do? <laughs> Sweet, that's rock. Cool beans. Then we just play. I'll show you this how this works. Still going? Yep. So um, watch that. And if you need to release them in a, as an emergency, you can pull this little string here, and that unplates. Un, un <laughs> Alright, son. You're a good boy. You did a good job. Right on. Really sick. The metal halter. It's a beauty, because now I can clean that. I can use it on another patient. Clean myself as well. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> 